thank you thank you you're welcome back to a session with me again your own friend good we'll continue with a series on time here yeah, with considering multiplication of time just as we did an addition and subtraction of time in terms of seconds or okay let me go from hours minutes seconds it could be from week days hours it could be from years months and weeks any of the others just what we did addition subtraction now we are coming to the multiplication when you have time how do you multiply them when you are they are in different units how do you come about that let's go together with few examples We have example one. Okay, let's, try, let's go from simple to complex, just like we've always done. We have minutes, seconds. Now I reduce this strength. So I have eight. I have thirteen. And I have times five. Five times thirteen. We have six to five. So if it's six to five seconds. Six to five seconds. So having six to five seconds, we have to change. We can't write 65 seconds under seconds because already, just like we know, the 60 seconds is already one minute. So, since 60 seconds is one minute, 65 seconds, remove 60 seconds from it, 65 minus 60. We have five seconds left. So, yeah, you are going to be having five. And this 60 already is one minute. So, you have to bring it to the portion or to the point where there is minutes. You have one here. So, one, leave that one. Don't use it. Then you multiply. That's just the principle. You multiply before you have that one. So five times four and uh, five times eight rather you have forty plus one. So you have forty one minutes. Forty one minutes, five hours. Yeah, let's take it a bit further. Let's have example two. We have example two. So two, yeah. We have our minutes and we have seconds. So we have four. We have eighteen. We have nine. Then this is multiplied by eight. Oh, so we add four here. Yeah? Eighteen, we add nine, and we add eight here. Yeah? 
multiplication. 8 times 9, what do we have? Or 9 times 8, the same thing, 72 seconds. 72 seconds is already more than it. It's up to 60. And 60 seconds is a minute. So we have 72 minus 60. That will be 2. 1, that is 12. So we have 12 seconds left. Yeah. Then this 60 seconds here is 1 minute. We bring it here. So 8 times 18. 144. Good. So 144 plus 145. 145 minutes. Okay, let's go. If you have 145 minutes, already we have hour beside this. Isn't it? And 60 minutes makes an hour. So 60 plus 60, that is 120. So that's like two hours, right? That will be minus 120. That's 5. That's 25. So you have 25 minutes. Then you have 2 here. You get that? So you have 2 hours being carried to this side. So you have now 8 times 4. That is um, 32 plus 2. That is 34. So you have 34 hours, 25 minutes, 12 seconds. Now let's see if we can have something. Okay, yeah, let's see another example. Let's clear this. And that will be all for this part. I hope you are getting that. Please pay close attention to that. So here now, we have question 3. Now we are dealing with week, day, and we have hours. So we have um, 2, 8, 9, times 3. 2, 8, 9, times 3. So what do we have? We multiply this. You have 3 times 7, and 3 times 9, that is um, 27. Already 24 hours make a day, so that will be... Okay, let me just change my marker here. We can go. So that will be 27 minus 24. You have 3 left. So once you have 3 left, you, that's a 3. You have 3 hours. So that will be 3 hours. Then already 24 hours is a day. So you bring it here. 1 day. So 3 times 8, 24 plus 1. That is 25 days. We have 25 days and we have a unit week beside it right so instead of writing 25 days since we have seven days making a week out of 25 we have 25 days how many weeks can we get there we can get three weeks three times seven 21 so subtract 21 from 25 you have four so we have four days left then three will be here the three weeks is 21 is 7 days occurring 3 times where the 7 days is a week that will go 21 7 times 3 you get that so now 3 times 2 6 plus 3 that is 9 the one side is 9 weeks 4 days in 3 hours Thank you very much for joining me on this. See you again in the next video.